All right, everybody, what is up? It's Thunder Helsing, back with another Vampire Hunter Mastercraft gameplay. And fellas, I love this class, man. This class is so good for trolling sweats, because let's face it, fellas, sweats basically are vampires. These nerds never go outside during the day, pale skin, sucking down all sorts of cold red Mountain Dew, you know, the color of blood, sipping on their G Fuel smoothies. I mean, these nerds got no life, and it's hard to kill something with no life unless you're a vampire cheese hunter, man. <laughs> anyway, fellas, I'm only joking. Oh, my goodness. Speaking of cheese, them ballistic knives, man. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, fellas, I saw a couple of things on Twitter today, man. Now, you guys know. I've been around the block a few times, I've been on Twitter, uh, YouTube for a while, and my BS detector is finely tuned. And I see a lot of things that I agree with, I see a lot of things I don't agree with. And at first I want to talk about this viral TikTok video that I saw on Twitter today of this dude casting. I'll put it up on the screen for you guys. Check this out, man. Does this look legit to you guys? Man, TikTok videos have got to be the cringiest thing that has happened to the internet in quite a while. The amount of cringe I've seen from these TikTok videos, oh my goodness, man. <laughs> so first of all, man, this, to me, in my humble opinion, this is a staged prank. And let me tell you guys something right now, man. Fake pranks and the internet go together like Profit and VMP, son. I mean, this is nothing new. And I want to point out a couple of things here. First of all, why is this dude fishing barefoot, man? Who goes fishing barefoot? I've gone fishing thousands of times. I've never been barefoot while doing it. And then you, you see this dude has his mask pulled down because he knows he's about to do something dumb and he wants everyone to know who he is in case the video goes viral, which it did. The internet totally took the bait on this one, pun intended. Uh, over 400,000 likes on a fake TikTok prank, fellas. Just let that sink in. And why are all these people recording him cast? Why there's like three people on cell phone cameras recording this dude cast? What's so exciting about? Oh, he's gonna cast into the ocean? Let's record him just in case he falls in. Oh, he did! Wow, what a coincidence! Bullshit! Let funny just happen organically, man. I mean, I know we're all in a quarantine and everybody's bored and there's really not much going on, but fake pranks for for internet. Uh, clout come on man no, i'm not saying 100 this is fake but it does look fake yeah i'm like 99.9 .9 sure this whole entire thing was staged anyway speaking of bs and things i think are fake i want to talk about another thing i saw on twitter today uh call of duty news charlie intel tweets this out activision uh coo modern warfare has more players than any other call of duty game at this point in its release cycle any other Call of Duty ever. And by the way, fellas, put it down in the comment section. Do you think that TikTok or video was fake or real? Let me know down in the comment section. Also, let me know what you think about this, man. I mean, if this is true, if Modern Warfare really does have more players than any other Call of Duty game at this point in its release cycle ever, uh, I mean, you gotta put an asterisk next to it, fellas. This is not legit, man, okay? I'm gonna read a couple of comments. Uh, one from the homie Killer Bush Wookie Thug Wookie. Uh, he he tweeted at, at me on this article. The constant bragging is excruciating. Shows how out of touch they are. Same people in lobbies all around the world. That's true. I get into the same lobbies with the same people all the time playing Modern Snorfare, dude. All the time. <laughs> Huge waiting lobby times is beyond a joke. No way on planet Earth more people playing this game than MW2 or BO1 days where we had millions online instant games friends list all on cod that's true you guys remember back in the day when we had like three million people on black ops one you could even go on your friends list and not see anyone playing any other game other than call of duty i go on my friends list now people playing all kinds of games i don't go on my friends list now and see everyone playing cod uh now i know they said they had over 50 million people logging into warzone and i know this that the success of modern warfare 2019 uh, a lot of it is due to Warzone, these numbers that they're flaunting right now. And I'm going to read another tweet right here from Ryder. Ryder put out, there's an influx of passionate content creators today. This is true. I agree with this first point a thousand percent. Let me tell you guys something, man. When I first started playing Call of Duty, if you ran into a streamer or a YouTuber in a lobby, you would like, wow, 
there's a YouTuber and a streamer in this lobby. Now in 2020, if you go into a lobby where there isn't a YouTuber and a streamer, you're like, wow, there isn't a YouTuber or a streamer in this lobby. Bro, it seems like every lobby I get into, there's a dude with YT Me, Live, TTV. Bro, there's YouTubers and Twitch streamers everywhere. Every lobby I go into. That's why I made the player card I made, man. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? As a joke, but seriously, every lobby you go into, man, you know what I'm saying? Somebody's trying to be the next, uh, I don't know, <laughs> the next Optic Scumpy, the next Market J. Every lobby, bro, the dudes are sweating hard in these lobbies, man, trying to get some of that YouTube money. <laughs> and I don't blame them, man. You can make some money out here, absolutely. But, oh my goodness, I, I heard that, uh, most of the kids now, like back in the day when you asked them what they wanted to be, like school age kids, they would say they wanted to be like doctors or lawyers. Nowadays, they're saying they all want to be Twitch streamers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So things have drastically changed. Uh, the second bullet point Ryder makes here is the business model has drastically changed. All the maps are free. The weapons are free. Yes, that is huge. That is the first time that Activision has ever allowed this in a Call of Duty game. So that's another huge advantage Modern Snorfare 2019 has over everything else. And then you've got Warzone, of course. Warzone being free. And they just said they had 50 million players log into Warzone, which is tied to the Modern Warfare universe. So that's dramatically boosting their numbers. And I don't know, fellas. Is it just me? Or does it seem like Battle Royale is now the new main game mode in Call of Duty? I mean, Battle Roy uh, Warzone saved Modern Warfare 2019. Let me tell you something. Modern Warfare 2019's popularity has got absolutely nothing to do with the multiplayer. This is the worst multiplayer in the history of Call of Duty, okay? The core gameplay is trash. The graphics are great. The core gameplay of Modern Warfare 2019 is absolutely abysmal. And if you like it, you're probably a noob. Because that's who they're catering to in, in Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare 2019. They are catering to noobs 1000% with the safe spaces, the loud footsteps, the horrible map design, the no mini map. They're doing everything they can to cripple good players in Modern Warfare 2019. All people are camping in buildings with shotguns and claymores. That's the only way to play. You can't play any other way without getting shot up because everyone can hear you coming. The core gameplay of Modern Warfare is horrible. Warzone has bailed out multiplayer big time. Also, he says here, the pandemic. The pandemic keeping everybody inside. Playing video games. Playing Call of Duty. So all these things, and I agree with him 1000%. There's a huge asterisk. Plus, don't forget crossplay. He doesn't have crossplay mentioned here, but... Crossplay is another feature that Modern Snorfare 2019 has that's got everybody on there trying to now. Oh, now I can play with my boy on PC. I can play with my boy on Xbox. And just do it on Xbox. I can play with his friends on PC and PS4. It's got everybody together playing, playing more. So Modern Warfare 2019 has a lot of things going for it circumstantially, okay, that have made it. If this, in fact, is true, that it's the most played COD game ever, which... Let me tell you something, like I said, multiplayer got nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it. The multiplayer is trash. I mean, if multiplayer was so popping, why do I see that, like like Bushwookie said, I see the same people in my lobbies constantly when I play Modern Snorfare 2019. The same people, I run into the same people all the time. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it might be the most popular game. I can't believe it, because when I played it in the beta, I was like, oh my goodness, I would have never thought that this game would be the most downloaded, the most played, the most popular uh i'm 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 blown away man i really am i am just like wow so it's a head scratch moment for me but whatever if you guys are enjoying modern warfare 2019 cool i wish i could too but unfortunately for me it's really impossible and the day i download that game the, i mean the day i delete that game off my ps4 is going to be one of the greatest days of my life <laughs> it's gonna be one of the greatest days of my life i can't wait man Anyway, fellas, that's all I got. Drop it down in the comment section. What do you guys think about all this flippery with Modern Warfare 2019 and its popularity? And oh my goodness, the money shot. Oof. Thanks for watching, everybody. Ah, damn, that hurt me to just watch.